Only on 12 News with the new year just a few weeks away now. We're counting down the top 18 stories of 2018. And tonight we're starting with number 18, a Valley murder spree. As Tam, uh, Team 12's Tram Mai shows us tonight, it crippled the Valley with fear for nearly a week. Tram? Six people killed over the course of four days in three different cities. The murder spree stemmed from a bitter divorce battle that lasted nine years. The ex-husband angry and unpredictable and his ex-wife constantly living in fear that one day he would kill her too. The last 96 hours, I believe, reflects one individual's actions that are the worst of humanity. Thursday, May 31st, 2018, Dr. Stephen Pitt, a high profile forensic psychiatrist, found shot to death outside his office. When the information came into the newsroom that one of these victims was Dr. Stephen Pitt, I mean, it just elevated this story to the next level. This is someone who globally was known. He worked on the John Bonet Ramsey case. Columbine shooting. We knew that he had an office out of Scottsdale. The question now was, was someone trying to take revenge? The next day, two more people gunned down inside a Scottsdale law office. Paralegals Valeria Sharp and Laura Anderson. Early Saturday morning, Marshall Levine found dead at a Scottsdale mental health counseling facility. Sunday, two more victims, Mary Simmons and her partner Brian Thomas, killed in their Fountain Hills home. The community was scared. People were on edge and police finally found their guy because a former police officer gave them a tip. He said the guy you're looking for is Dwight Jones. Dwight Jones, an unemployed Scottsdale man who had divorced in 2009 and lost custody of his son, described in court records as emotionally disturbed. The Monday after the weekend murder spree, Jones killed himself. At that point, we learned with the exception of the final two murders that happened in Fountain Hills, every single homicide was linked to the bitter divorce between Dwight and Connie Jones. I felt that I had a personal terrorist. Dr. Connie Jones was his ex-wife. She feared for her safety for the past nine years. Someone who had time and nothing else to do but to think about how to hurt me. Here she is telling the world that she'd been living a nightmare for years, learning firearms training, self-defense, and changing routes to work just to try to keep her ex off her trail. His death, I think, is the best thing that's come out of this whole ordeal. Dr. Connie Jones says his erratic behavior in recent months may have been because of financial trouble. His divorce settlement payments from Jones were ending, and she believes that is why he snapped. Tram I 12 News. Well, the top 18 of 2018 continues tomorrow night with Arizona's role in a bitter battle on Capitol Hill. And we want you to weigh in on this. What do you think is the biggest story of the year? You can go to 12news.com slash top 18 and cast your vote.